The simple fact was that while they were quite familiar with European research people roaming freely all over the country, a black doing field studies in the Sudan is a phenomenon indeed. Ethiopia, the new name for Abyssinia, like the Republic of the Sudan, is also ruled by people of mixed blood who not only do not consider themselves African by race, but who maintain a privileged class society based upon color. To them, all black-skinned Africans are Bantu. To these, they feel superior by reason of white blood, and their discriminatory practices are just as subtle and real as those of the whites. And although the enslavement of black-skinned Africans continue in both countries, even in our times, both the Sudan and the new Ethiopia have adopted the Brotherhood Front since the sudden rise of so many independent African states. The Sudan, to serve as the bridge between the Arab world and the new black states, and thus control or influence their international policies through the UN and Ethiopia to more directly control or influence black Africa through Western backing in establishing the headquarters of the Organization of African Unity in Addis Ababa and pushing Haile Selassie into the key role of continent-wide leadership, thus blocking the, quote, dangerous influence of Kwame Nkrumah. It is because of my steadfast refusal to either skip or gloss over these aspects of the historical record that I am criticized by many Negroes, and I know exactly when to use this term. Note. 